Herzlich willkommen, Jennifer und Aaron Bieber. So, how is it in Vienna? It's, uh, is it your first time in Vienna? It is uh, first time, very nice, beautiful. The people are amazing. It's been uh, probably the most welcoming uh, event that I've ever been to. So you guys are great. Thank you so much for being here. So please tell us, how was the premiere in New Zealand? Well, it was great. It was, uh, we had the movie in a theater that uh, was built by Peter Jackson and uh, Lord of the Rings, they, uh, in an area where they make like Avatar and Hobbit and a very strong cinema uh, city. And uh, we had a really great red carpet there, a lot of uh, media and paparazzi and uh, did national television uh, and national radio several times. And um, yeah, and three days later, their uh, government came out on uh, television and said that they were going to consider changing their ban on uh, nicotine uh, products. Jenny, how was it for you? How, uh, how was it to, to be on a red carpet? I mean, your husband is a filmmaker. He probably knows that. But how was it for you? Uh, it was amazing. Um, just to see the support of all the people coming out and to be um, in the community. Um, and to know that we're there to help these people. It was just fantastic. Okay. And I think you have a very busy husband now. Very. <laughs> I don't see him too much at home anymore. That's why I got to come with. <laughs> are you always traveling with him? or? Not all the time. We have uh, two smaller children, so I spend my time between taking care of them at home and traveling, and sometimes they come with, too. She, she has three children because I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> He's my big one. <laughs> So what do you think the government in New Zealand, did they just say something or will they really do something? Well, they seem like people that are, their country seems a little bit less corrupt in some ways. Like uh, their politicians, I think, are listening a little bit better, but that they were getting confused by all of the lies. Uh, and once they were able to see the truth, you know, in the movie and understand how important this technology is, that they're willing to listen. And I actually think that... Uh, they will change because the, the leaders that we met with and also the, the health leaders there have changed their mind. And so hopefully, I, I think that they will change, yes. Then when you flew here to Europe, you made a, a stop in Washington, D.C. Uh, why? Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, we, uh, we were invited to... Uh, show the movie to uh, U.S. congressmen and their staff at a, a private event, and that uh, there was over 100 people there, so it was uh, very well attended. And at the end, uh, there was a standing ovation. So I think uh, I think they're listening in Washington as well now. Have they seen the whole movie or, or just clips? They saw the entire movie. So okay, yes. cool. Now you brought some clips here to Vienna, we are very, very proud because everybody is so excited, everybody wants to see the movie. Yes. And you brought some uh, snippets here? Yes, actually the, the whole uh, first six minutes of the film we actually brought for you to see today, uh, as well as another part of the movie, another three minutes. So we actually brought a lot, we brought almost 10% of the movie for you to see today. Good, Just also. because Bettina is so great. <laughs> film up, here comes a billion lives from Aaron Biebert. Danke. So that, uh, that's just the beginning of, of the movie. And we actually have uh, another clip here too. But yeah, that's just kind of the, the opening of it. Uh, we decided to take kind of a historical look at the whole issue so that I, I think a lot of young people don't even really understand how people began smoking in the first place because they weren't alive when all the advertising and, and all of that was going on. And so we wanted to make sure that we started at the beginning because at the beginning of every vapor, vapor story is actually smoking. And so um, for the politicians to understand how did we get to this point, they have to understand that it began with smoking. And so that's why the beginning of the movie actually does start with that. Can we see the, the second clip? Yeah, let's do it. 
Bitte Regie, macht's ab. Sorry, sorry we, uh, we had to cut that off there, but... Uh. So thank you very much for bringing these clips. This is great. This is fabulous. And what we have seen, Jenny, you are not only the wife of Aaron, but uh, you no. really worked on the film. Um, yes, I'm one of the producers for the film. Um, I also edited a portion of the film and um, a little bit of the filming. How is it to work with your husband? It's great. <laughs> we never <laughs> fight, ever. No. <laughs> we make it work. We make it work. Um, that, that's She's so beautiful, it's easy to work with her. <laughs> Stop. Um, that's just, you know, the dynamic of our family. You know, we bring our kids along. Everything we do, we do together. And, you know, we believe in it as a family. So we're all very involved. You're a good team. I think so. Yeah, at one point, we, uh, we filmed almost 200 hours of interviews. So for a 90-minute film. And uh, Jenny and I, when we were getting it ready for the first time to send to some film festivals, we worked around the clock. Uh, like three in the morning, we would shift, change shifts, and uh, she would go to bed, and I would wake up and start editing. So yes, a lot of uh, late late night hours with that, and uh, yeah, here we are. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think you're a very busy person right now, huh? so you have contacts everywhere in the world. I, I heard uh, there are contacts with Netflix, for example, and, and stuff like that. Are you handling this all together, or? Well, we, we have a team of about nine people that work on this film, and uh, I, do, uh, I do try to answer as many of the messages myself as I can, but uh, it's getting more difficult. So, But yes, our small team is doing it all. What can we do? How can we, as a community, help you? Well, probably the, the best way to help us is to you know, in order to bring it to countries, we, we have to know that there's people that want to see it. And so we're watching very carefully to see how many people in each language have interest in the movie. And so we're, we're, we really do need help maybe uh, if anybody, you know, we have eight European languages right now that our updates are being translated to. But uh, we certainly could use more if people... If there's somebody in, in your language isn't being uh, represented, we would love to do that. We would love to have that uh, in your language, the Facebook updates. Um, but we need people to help spread the word, you know, to, to share our updates. Um, the German language page is uh, 3,000 people now and uh, growing quickly. And we, have, we just need to spread the word. I know there's a lot of... Uh, vapors in uh, Austria and Germany and Switzerland and uh, we need to reach out to them and we don't have the marketing budget to do that so we need the community to help us to lift us up so that people can see that we're making this movie how is your feeling about this project I mean you worked for over a year now and uh, now the, the movie is done it is there how, how is that Jen, do you got anything <laughs> Well, at some point, you think you're going to feel relieved that it's over. But I think we're finding now we're every bit as busy and every bit as nervous. It's just shifted. It's now not getting the footage and get it, meeting the deadlines for editing, but it's you know spreading the word to people and planning events and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's still the same stress level. <laughs> it's yeah. just changed focus. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, now my big concern is how do we reach the world with it? Because we, we have 95 minutes of the truth of, of how did we get to this point, and we know it can help, but we don't know how to get it out to the whole world because we're not a very big team. So, so there's a lot of stress there, yes. How important was this, this film for you as a filmmaker? Is it just one step in your film career? Or, I don't know. Well, it's uh, certainly changed uh, my perspective a lot on the world because as we were making this film, I was really learning a lot about how the world works and how there's a lot of corruption that is actually hurting the truth and hurting human beings. And so 
Uh, this has actually been a really big game changer for my career, not just a step, but maybe in some ways the step that has changed uh, my mindset. We're planning on having, a, if this goes well, another movie to talk about, um, you know, how do some of these big multinational companies, how do they, how do they change things in a bad way? How do they hurt things? And so we and talk about vaping again in that movie as well. So, yes, it's been a major change. So, I want to thank you very much. It is a, a great honor. I hope you have seen some, a little bit of Vienna so yes. far. Yes, we have seen some, and uh, we plan on seeing some more here. So, we're very excited about that. Yeah, cool. So, thank you very much, Jennifer and Aaron Biebert. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.